This week it's a bit of a different episode. It's my birthday today. I'm 28 years old. There's a baby crying. Lenny is running away with our props. And nothing is romantic about this at all. I don't know about that, but... Hey guys, before we get started, we wanted to just say a quick thank you for letting us have a little time off the past couple of weeks. As you know, we've been struggling to keep up with the weekly videos after the birth of little Darwin. We really enjoyed our time away, and although I thought the world might explode if we didn't post, I'm glad it didn't and we're still here. It means so much to our young family to have you guys here watching and supporting us. Because YouTube doesn't give you maternity leave, if you want to help us jump back into the swing of things with the YouTube algorithm, you can hit the like button on this video and leave us a comment. We'd appreciate that a lot. Anyway, as a lot of you would already know, we're here in Australia, visiting all the friends and family we can before we jet off abroad again. Most recently, we got stuck doing another 14 days of quarantine in Perth, and I was going to have my birthday during this time, so we booked a pretty sweet villa for the duration. Avocado tree. And one looks like it might be a rat, but I can't quite reach it. Join us for the party, then getting our Pfizer vaccination, and road tripping four hours to my hometown, where we give you an update on our new boat. Just duct tape them to the side. Keep you guys, keep you guys posted. Oh, they're amazing. How good are they? Mm. Oh. <laughs> There's more room now, an idiot. Whoops, sorry about that. You have a book here, How Emotions Are Made by Lisa Feldman Barrett, who's one of the smartest women I've ever heard speak. You've got dates and chocolate, little Nino, you, Lenny's over there behaving himself. I just said to Riley, this is the best birthday ever. <laughs> and we haven't even fired up the jacuzzi yet. You want one? Is that good? I eat a nanny. These things blow out of me so. That took you a while, hey? Oh no! And I feel a gust of wind brewing. These ones all died. And nose dye this. We've got two candles left. <coughs> well done. Oh, this is ice cold. Cheers. 28. In quarantine, with a spa, I wouldn't have thought this would be the case. So, Elena asked me to say something potentially mildly interesting. I've turned into a bit of an ornithologist. Since you got the new lens. New Canon lens. <laughs> so I've broken out the field glasses. I've taken a, a great interest in the native fauna. Fauna and fauna. fauna in particular, the uh, avian variety. Got some what I would call David Attenborough class shots. <laughs> Cue the B-roll. Here we have a bird in a tree. There's four birds flapping in the sky, heading due east. There's another bird here uh, on the ground, standing on a twig. And of course, finally, we have a bird in a tree flapping, and this is a kookaburra. Okay, mate. Yeah. It's okay. Put him in the warm water. You alright? That's nice and warm, isn't it? <laughs> that was scary, hey mate. You fell in the pool. Yeah. I got you, bud. 
The first time that's happened. So we've been... God, I'm like... Oh, we never leave around the pool without... No, no, of course not. But we've been here for 10 days now. I think we've got four days left of quarantine. It's the first time he's even come close to falling in. Yeah, I, to be honest, I saw him before and what he was doing and I kind of expected Yeah, him he's up. been doing stuff, but... But we're only a few metres away. It's quite well lit and everything was always going to be fine. And once again, he's Lenny never alone that. around the pool. Lenny knows how to swim. Yeah, he actually got himself to the top. Yeah, I saw. And was I doing this. Hey? The candles. Dude, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> hey? What do you feel like? Do you want to put on this? Do you want to press the bubbles? Press the bubbles. push the bubbles over here? One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry about your strawberry, mate. Chocolate? Yeah. Hey, Mama. Shower downstairs. Shower downstairs. This is a shower. Is this a shower? Yeah. We're getting towards the end of quarantine, and yeah, things are pretty difficult. <laughs> Our last few days of quarantine went by mostly without a hitch. Whoa. But spirits were high because tomorrow morning we are free. I've been watching people run and kayak along this beautiful river here, and I've been dying to go for a run. So that's gonna be the first thing I do tomorrow morning. So excited. <laughs> Are you gonna go for a run too, mister? Yes. Are you? <laughs> Ready, Lenny? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> a frog? Yeah, I ate a frog. Should we leave him alone now? Okay. Trouble for me. would bring me down. What's that, darling? Oh, jeez. I don't know if this video is going to make the cut. <laughs> Today is the first day I've been tired in 14 days and it's the day we're free. I'm so upset this morning. I can't believe this. <laughs> So my friends are coming over this afternoon, my Perth friends, and today we're gonna go get our Pfizer shots. And yeah, I just thought today I'd be feeling good. I wanted to go for that run, but that's not gonna happen. Darwin was squirming since 3 a.m., which he never does. Anyway, at least we're free. How are you feeling? Uh, tentatively chipper. Uh, <laughs> I've had two Coffees. So Ra Lenny won't rally up at 3am. He wears a nappy at night time, he doesn't wear a nappy any other time now and he sits on the big boy toilet to do <laughs> poo-poos, which we're very, very proud of him about, especially at his age, it's actually pretty good. But he wears a nappy at night time and that overflowed last night, unfortunately. So I got a wake up at 3.30 saying, bit, bit wet, <laughs> bit wet, dada, bit wet. And I was like, Okay, mate, jump into bed with me, and he was so happy. He walked around and climbed up himself and jumped into bed, but I didn't get back to sleep, unfortunately. I tried for about half an hour, and then came out here and did a massive workout here. Smashed and had two some coffees. coffees. Cleaned the house a little bit, or quite a bit. Made some phone calls, some international phone calls. It's a good time to get stuff done overseas. And I'm predicting a mid-afternoon crash. Mm. And uh, that's quarantine, Pam. We did it. <laughs> we did it. And just like that, quarantine round two was over. This morning, the boys set off to pick up our new hire car. We're in the wide world, Lenny. You excited? Woo! <laughs> Mr. Darwin, look at our nice new car. We're on our way to get our Pfizer shots. We'd love to hear what you guys think about our... Um, Sorry, Pfizer. Pfizer, yeah. Not a silent P. No. 
what you guys are thinking about the vaccines, the AstraZeneca versus the Pfizer shots. I wasn't allowed to get the AstraZeneca because I'm breastfeeding. They haven't done any trials, tests with that. For me to get the Pfizer because I'm under 30 years old, I wasn't eligible, so I had to get an exemption to leave the country which was super hard. We failed two applications. The third one, we finally got allowed to let out of the country, which gave me the paperwork that we're now taking to the Claremont showgrounds where they're doing the vaccinations. In particular, I'd like to hear from followers of Q and anyone that's got any thoughts about the deep state. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> that's a good thing, Vance. Cool. What does oh. that even mean? But yeah, about to have our first Pfizer shot and the second one you can only book after you've had the first one. Not sure where we're going to get the second one because we're going to be road tripping up to Exmouth after we visit my friends and fam in Geraldton and Dongra. Vaccination clinic and a bit of horse riding. Hey, <laughs> something for everyone. <laughs> How are those sultanas, Mr. Lenny? They good? Yeah. Where do you want it? On your hand? Yeah? Okay. And I actually really hate needles, so I'm just gonna close my eyes. That's all right. <laughs> That's if you're okay. Four more seats. It's all done. Next, please. Look, we're just gonna be a bit of a pain. What are pants? Mm. Well done. You've done beautifully. Thank you. Yeah, I actually need your arm relaxed, not flexed. Not flexing? <laughs> not flexing. <laughs> that sounds a bit different. Sure. <laughs> I did not feel a single thing. Really? You're a master, Stephanie. After a breather to make sure we didn't have any reactions to the vaccine, which we didn't, we rushed nice. off to get passport photos for Darwin. <laughs> Then it was back to the house for a wine night with my friends from Perth. <laughs> Lenny, are you happy? Yeah. 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 And you know what's yeah. even better? Yeah. Oh, they're cold. <laughs> <laughs> they're freezing. Then you just took a second for it to come through. Came out here before to try and get some shots of the car, some like silky B-roll, and Darwin is just sitting there, head butting me in the chest. Oof, oof, oof. Timed precisely to when I'm trying to be holding my shot steady. I cannot explain how frustrating that is. It's unfair, right? When I have to look after him, he just cracks the shits. As soon as he gets within Smelling distance, I don't know what that would be. I'm trying to think of a clever word of Elena's nipples or breasts or milk or whatever it is that they're after. He just goes into wonderful baby mode. When he's near me, he's like head budding, trying to climb out of his cage that I've got him strapped into and he's just entirely unpleasant. In order for me to make him behave himself and usually he'll flip out beforehand, but I've got to quite forcefully, but gently and kindly, Get this, jam it into his mouth, hold his head steady so that he doesn't kick it out and then hop. <laughs> I'm not joking, you're gonna think that you're mucking around and I have to move at at least five kilometers an hour and hop like this and then he'll eventually go to sleep. And that's what I need to go to do to keep him happy whereas Elena just sits there just being herself. <laughs> <laughs> this is all very true <laughs> and I do feel terrible about it. Before we go, I want to show you guys all the things that mostly Lenny <laughs> has broken. <laughs> this is the first thing that Lenny broke, the dustpan and brush. This was Lenny's chair and he made an absolute mess of it. So I forgot to do up this lock when there was that big storm and the, the wind blew it open and it just snapped straight off. So I feel really, really terrible about that. I'm sorry, Antoine. You having a good morning, Lenny? Yeah, having a good morning. Sorry we didn't find your bulldozer. Yeah, it's down in, under in the bush. 
That sounds like a pretty wild adventure the bulldozer went on. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. Before we knew it, it was time to squash our entire lives into the car to move house yet again. But the good news was the hopping method worked and the little man has been asleep for probably 40 minutes now. Oh, Lenny, you just put all my clothes on the floor. Don't do that, OK? Yeah, I know, I know. Please don't throw Dad's clothes on the floor, OK? OK. OK. Problem with this is it's a push start. If Lenny pushes that, we could be in a bit of trouble. And he'll get there eventually. <laughs> Thanks for letting us use your house, mate. Uh, no problem. It was a pleasure. Appreciate Always. it. Please come back sometime. Oh. <laughs> we will. Good. OK, what up? Feeding Darwinian. Then we're going to hop in the car finally, and it's a four-hour road trip to Dongara, where my mum and stepdad live. Yeah, we're moving house. We're going to stay there for just over a week, and then we're going on a road trip to far north, west, remote Australia. <laughs> hold the camera for Dad. OK. Good boy. You hold the camera there? Good boy. Now you got to hold it steady. That's it. We're going to show everyone. There you go. Some hot chips and a delicious pie. They have oat milk in there. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I apologise for the establishment. Cool cups. My goodness. Yeah. What a what a funky little roadhouse. And I got you an oat slice. <gasps> Did it, my goodness. <laughs> that trip should have taken us four hours, took us all day. But that's okay. There are worse things I could be complaining about. Ooh. Oh, it's your new house. It's your house. Hey, not bad. Oh, these stairs look really great for toddlers, don't they? <laughs> oh, this is amazing. After the deepest sleep I'd had in a while, I woke up to my alarm reminding me to wake up Riley for our important meeting with our boat builders. Hello. Hi. G'day, everyone. How was your chat this morning with the dudes? Very informative. The amount of knowledge in that room was incredible. You know, as, as I'm sure you've experienced, you can, uh, you know, achieve pretty high average speeds. Um, yeah. You know, get places without without pushing too hard. You know, 25 knots around Auckland Harbour, just mucking around. You know, like, how much faster do you want to go? 26. <laughs> I got to meet Pete Melvin of Marillion Melvin, one of the most famous design, like boat designers of all time. The, the list of things that he's done is too numerous for me to even recall, to be honest. They put to bed my um, dreams of having foils. They're like, you don't need foils. He says with a baby carrier on. <laughs> Thanks for setting me straight about the... Um, Foils, because that's that's generally the last thing I think about before I drift off to sleep at night. So I'll be resting much more easily now. 
That's we're putting cool. them on the 50 that we're building at the moment, and yeah, it's a lot of work. You're yeah. putting them on the 50? Yeah, you should have told them that, Paul. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you, can, you can find old foils from an Orma 60 and put them on. Just, I could save you a lot of money. Just, just duct tape them to the side. <laughs> so I'm just hanging out. The floats are too far gone. You can't do it. Sorry. I'm giving another bad idea. Right. But it's a good idea. I mean, getting used to foil someone on 60, that would be my... Uh, I'm pretty sure you were a mute bird. <laughs> <laughs> the price and weight is not good. So in heavy wind, you'd be going even faster, but I'm more interested with the family to be going fast in lighter wind conditions. And then, yeah, there, we were discussing rudders and then I've got some changes I'd like to make to the back and then it's just a matter of how much that might cost to redesign because the boat's already really good. Just throw an idea. Yeah, there. yeah, just talking to them for a bit, I just, I always learn a lot, so that's great. And just while we're on the boat subject, this is in regards to La Vagabon 2 that we're auctioning off. A lot of you have been wondering when. As you can imagine, it's actually pretty hard to sell a boat. There's a whole bunch of bureaucratic processes, changing of boat registrations, insurance, banks, customs, the list goes on. We will keep you updated when the auction does go live. We have an email database that you can sign up to. I'll put the link in the description below. And Boathouse Auctions, it's a website. They've kindly offered to have La Vagabond on there. So thank you guys. I'll actually put their website in the description below too so you can check them out. Didn't know boat auctions were such a, such a thing. But as we found out, they are a thing. And BoathouseAuctions.com is a leader in this space. Because these guys are helping us sell our boat, we're really happy to be sharing their website with you here now. Boathouse Auctions only work with high quality yachts. And if you are really interested, they tend to move quick. They actually just kicked off a sailboat auction, so check it out. And while you're there, you can sign up to receive auction updates. Yes, keep you guys, keep you guys posted. When he went swimming with his, all his clothes on. He's been copying Olivia on everything she does. <laughs> it's awesome. Lenny? <laughs> Lenny, are you a bit wet? Yeah, I'm a bit wet. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to head off now to create some more memories with my crew here. But we'll see you next week for an epic road trip north of here. What? So are you laughing at the fact you have no pants on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got our... What did we... What happened? You've got a hat on and no pants on.